I better. <laughs> I need one. A long one? How much fun was that? Huh? Talk about that play. What happens in the long one? Oh yeah, no, we got in the huddle and Jameis knew he wanted to throw it. So he told me exactly what to do and just went out there and did it. I think I owed him one too because I dropped that one the other day. So I definitely owed him one. How good is Jameis at throwing a deep? Like from guys you play with, how good is he with the deep ball? Because I'm guessing you run faster than some quarterbacks can yeah. get to. No, nah, I never lose stride with Jameis. So, I mean, I, I, I got uh, faith in his arm. I trust his arm and he's he always accurate when he's down for it. So, good deep ball. Deontay, kind of a non football question. What was it like when you got the jersey? Um, oh, I was everything. Uh, just seeing it, like, I already knew, like, the name was changed, but walking in the locker room and seeing it up top on the locker, but then actually seeing it on the jersey, that was everything. And then I sent it to my family back at home, and it was just a lot of tears. So uh, it was everything for me. Deontay, you mentioned that y'all got in the huddle, and Jameis told you exactly what to do, and y'all knew what, where that was going. Do you feel like that level of comfort is settling in for you guys with him now? For sure, and uh, I think it's just us trusting each other, us getting working in the off season, and just him, us all working together the previous years. Um, we just built up that level of trust in each other. So um, knowing certain plays and certain coverages, um, knowing exactly what we want and what to expect. So definitely a trust factor though. Yeah. What's the potential of this wide receiver group this year? Best in the league, hands down. No more needs to be said. We all got talent. Uh, I feel like we all could do multiple things on the field. Um, so um, I think for me, it's just being able to stretch the field, but also running those um, choice routes and stuff like that. But um, we all could do everything. You could put anybody in any position and we'll go out there and make plays. In the end of round two, right? Oh, for sure. I need, I need them. So like in week one last year, we saw a play like that over the top. And then we had another one with against Washington. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, from the very beginning of last year, you had that chemistry with James. That, that was just us did? getting getting off-season work. Uh, we, we went down to Miami to uh, off-season before that, and we just got a couple days of work. And then, you know, camp the camp before that, we worked. And then um, we uh, when Jameis came here, we were all um, going scout team work. So, you know, we just didn't have that chemistry. We never let it go, and we just continued to build on it. And was that something that you guys actually did a lot in practice sessions that may have been close to us? Because we've only, you know, we've seen it a couple times in practice, a couple times in games. That's something you've done a lot more than we've seen. Jameis loved to throw the ball deep, so we definitely, yeah. we definitely practice in it every day, for sure. Did, did the goals change at all with this being a, a contract here for you? Just anything you want to show a receiver or anything? Same goal, uh, do what I can to help the team win, and hopefully we can bring home that trophy. Same goals. How's it been working with Chris Olave, not just as a receiver, but also as a punt returner? Uh, Chris is nothing like he just talented. I mean, we knew that. We knew him coming in, just watching his O State film, watching him play on TV. Like we knew that the boy could play, but actually watching him is, is different. Like you could tell that nothing changed for him. Like nothing, the game didn't slow. Like the game slowed down for him, kind of. You know, like just playing at that level. So clean route runner, a uh, great person, and just a playmaker. And then just to follow up. On special teams, what are kind of some, you know, some focuses, I guess, or what's something that you specifically are working on as a return man, just kind of seeing. I got to score more, yep. you know. I, I don't think I had none last year, so that's the big difference. I got to get some in the end zone so that our offense can get some some breaks, you know. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. I know it's probably hard for them to get hands on you, but like just the physicality of the, the cornerbacks, is there anything that stands out about like their mentality and the way they play just from a receiver perspective? Uh, to play DB, you got to be, uh, you got to have a different mentality. Like, you're covering the fastest people on the field. So, um, for me, I don't want them touching me. I think I told you this last year. Like, they big and strong. I don't, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but, you know, we got big physical receivers. But to play DB, like, you got to be mentally tough and you got to be physical. So, as, stay away from me, though. As a receiver, yeah, how do you, what are some of the things you do to try to combat that? Like, when they're trying to get physical and you're trying to create space? Yeah. Just, I trust my feet. So, I feel as though if I got, if you can't get your hands on me, I feel like I trust my feet um, more than you trust yours. So I feel like I can get in and out of breaks quicker than you can. Yeah, what was like a, just the amount of time you got to, to play on the field last year? Was kind of One more time. The amount of time you got to spend on the field last year, what was the biggest lesson you had to take away from that? Uh, just, take, just take every opportunity uh, serious. Uh, you never know, especially in this league, you never know like what could happen. So uh, unfortunately we had a lot of injuries. And my number was called, and uh, I was blessed enough to be able to play as much as I did. So um, you just take advantage of every opportunity you get. Yeah, so how much have you seen Paulson deep on? 
just developing year one to year two? I, I tell everybody, I was like, when he came in here his first year and we did OTAs, he was kind of like, like I'm looking at him, I'm like, oh, I don't know if he could. But as the year went on, he just progressively got better. And so I think he just coming off from last year, like you still see him getting better. Like he out here um, early in the morning, working on his stuff at the practice. He out here, probably one of the last ones out here. So, I mean, it definitely translates. When in the return game, I mean, it, it appears from the outside different than receiver where you may be constantly developing your craft in terms of how you run routes and working on timing with the quarterback and all that stuff. The return game seems a little more instinctive and obviously as a rookie you were all pro. Yeah. But what are, um, I mean, how are you emphasizing that aspect of your game still and what it, can you give us an example? Like you say you want to score more touchdowns. I mean, how do you do that? Uh, <laughs> just just trusting myself and trusting my teammates more. I think last year I was kind of, um, knowing that I was playing offense more, I was kind of a little, not scared, but like just a little bit more hesitant. So just trusting myself, trusting my teammates more, and um, just making bigger plays. Do you want to get back to more instinctive stuff then uh, as, a, as a return man? I mean, do, do you look back at your rookie season and, and never think, is there anything I did better there than I'm, that I didn't do the last? To be honest, I think it was just my mentality. Like, I came in knowing, like, this is what I do, and I think, the more I got involved in the offense, it was kind of like not me getting away from it, but like just me focusing more on it. So now it's just putting it all together, really, like doing everything I can on in, in both aspects. Yeah. His confidence never left. It never went nowhere. He always been confident. He always been like high energy type person. Um, yeah, his confidence never went anywhere. I think he meant confidence in the new. Oh, his knee? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, like run, scrambling, scrambling. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what you meant? <laughs> My bad. No, nah, definitely, definitely. Uh, you definitely see him moving around more, trusting his knee more. Um, I remember back when he couldn't run at all. You know, um, so definitely, you definitely see the progression from where he started to where he is now. Deontay, can you talk about what you saw from the defense on that deep touchdown or what you're looking for when it comes to those moments? Oh, I'm looking at the safeties, really. Um, I know if the safety is nine times out of ten, if the safety is in a certain position, then we know like one or two things either they're gonna drive or they're gonna try to get out. And we knew like based off of the coverage, we knew what the safety was gonna do. So that's when he came in the huddle. Like if you run it this way, then the ball definitely comes to you. So. And is that if you run it this way, is that like an adjustment in terms of your pitch or your angle? Or? Just my angle. Yeah. Yep. Oh, <laughs> you was about to catch something. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, huh? Yep. Is there a guy or I'm not on the stand, bro. I'm not on the stand. This is a podium. Yeah. Yes. Sir. With my life. I can't think, I can't, he used to wear number 12, but when he went the one, he got Hollywood. So I don't, <laughs> but so, I mean, definitely, definitely number 10 though. 10, I trust, you know what I'm saying? Yes, one. <laughs> you know, I love you, my boy. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, Mike.